Hello and welcome to another vlog episode. Today I want to show you my recent gear pickups as well as my recent CD pickups. But first of all, I want to give you some insight on what you can expect from this channel in 2020. Before that, 2019 was a really great year for me. My channel grew over 1000 subscribers. I released uh, my debut LP with Nightbearer, Tales of Sorcery and Death. And I made some awesome friendships and met a ton of great people, both in real life as well as on over the internet. So thank you for making this possible. Speaking of YouTube, in 2020 I want to continue to put out reviews and uh, community content and even this uh, vlog style, but I want to change something. I want to make it more natural, so I uh, will include more you might call it improvised talking, so I won't rely on scripts this much as I did in 2019. You could also see some small changes. I added uh, this live EQ comparisons in some of my videos. That being said, I have some videos already edited and ready for publishing without the live EQ, so expect uh, this channel to go full live EQ and full improvised AM festival around February, I guess. So, next, my pickups. Well, we start with a CD or vinyl pickups because I picked up my first ever vinyl, believe it or not. And of course, okay, no surprise, it's my own record Nightbearer Tales of Sorcery and Death. Artwork, really, really, really good. Our vinyl came in three different options. It was the black vinyl, the white splatter vinyl, and the orange, orange swirl vinyl. Our stock is nearly sold out, so if you don't have already a CD or a vinyl and want one, you should hurry. Besides the vinyl, I of course picked up the CD. We have 300 hand numbered CDs. So yeah. Okay, enough advertising. Now let's start with this. Oh, I have to include, I'm not the guy that buys uh, CDs as soon as they release. I'm a lot going to flea markets and I like to uh, purchase huge amounts of CDs uh, in blowout sales on Amazon or whatever. So um, don't expect to see every new release there is. I'm a late buyer, I guess. So we start with those two CDs of Dismember I purchased, it's, uh, where Iron Crosses grow and the self-titled CD. Um, I don't have all the records, I still try to complete my collection, but I of course know all the songs and those albums, classics of course, don't have to tell. Next. Um, believe it or not, I'm not totally into death metal. I listen to all kinds of metal if it's good. And um, well, this is exceptional good album. It's uh, Unleash the Arcus Apex. It's from, let's see, 2017. And it's um, power metal with a slight progressive touch, female fronted. I actually don't like many female singers, but uh, this girl, uh, Brittany Slays is her name, I guess. Really, really good. So you should check them out. I'm also a big fan of progressive metal. And this release of Soen, it's from 2018, the latest release. I really like his uh, singing, the guitar work, the drumming. It's from uh, Martin Lopez. Uh, Maybe you know him, he uh, was in Opeth before Soen. Um, nice record. I actually, I mostly buy uh, CDs that I like, so I like it. Yeah, this one I bought with uh, a shirt and 
I like all his music, be it in um, Strapping Young Lad or his solo stuff, uh, Devin Townsend, Empath. I have no words to describe what genre this is. Uh, you have to listen for yourself. Just can't recommend it enough. Just, just look at this crazy artwork. Oh, it goes further. And here. Yeah, the music is kind of like the artwork, I guess, so expect nothing but greatness. Next, I got a good deal on Amazon and I haven't heard it. It's uh, the Carnage uh, Dark Recollections. Uh, Carnage is the band that later became dismember and uh, those demos were great. Sound is a bit uh, experimental, don't know how to explain it, but um, the songs are nice. Ooh, next up was on a flea market. Um, I stumbled upon this band because of uh, Mikael Ackerfeld from Opeth and he says it's his biggest influence and because I'm a big fan of Opeth I um, gave it a try. It's um, Camel Moon Madness and um, it's my third Camel record and I have to say it's... Yeah, I think it's the best. This one is really, really cool. Next up I love Blind Guardian. You could tell by the artwork of our record and by some of the solo stuff I try. So it was clear I had to buy the Blind Guardian Twilight Orchestra Legacies of the Dark Lands and it's so 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 good. The vocal work from Hansi is outstanding. It's um, for you who don't know Blind Guardian um, or the Twilight Orchestra, it's their orchestral album. They are planning uh, since 1966, uh, 1996, sorry, I guess. So it was totally worth the wait. One of the best records that came out 2019, by far. Okay, now to the experimental stuff, I guess. Um, was Whoops. Um, was on a flea market and got a great deal on some CDs, so I picked them up. It's the uh, Coverdale Page album. Some blues rock um, sounds close to Led Zeppelin, actually. Okay, it says Jimmy Page on it. Um, cool stuff, not my typical kind of music, but was a great listen. And now some records that I don't like this much, but I got a great deal on it. Avantasia. Avantasia, Avantasia, Avantasia. Those of you who don't know Avantasia, it's German uh, power metal solo project of Tobias Summit and its basic concept is a, a metal opera thing. I like to call it Aryan in bed, but it doesn't do it justice. I mean, the songs are okay, the singing, the instruments, everything good, just too much major scale for me. I prefer my power metal minor scale and uh, more like Blind Guardian, Iced Earth, uh, you name it. So it's nice to have them, but I won't listen to them this much. Next up is a gift from uh, Nightbearer's second guitar player, uh, Christian. Uh, he released his uh, second record from his band Toxic Trap and I did the mixing and the mastering, so he gave me one copy, uh, Blood to Water, Thrash Metal, you should check those guys out. Now to two records that literally came today, so I haven't listened to them that yet, uh, from Redemption, Progressive Metal. I really like Ray Alder and Thomas Englund from Evergrey. Ray Alder singing here and Englund singing here, so should be great. Now let's go for the gear pickups. So after the last pickups video I picked up four pedals and one amp. Um, but I'm waiting for huge deliveries, so there will be a part three. <laughs> 
first uh, pedal I want to talk about, it's actually no surprise I got that because I made the video very very quickly to be released. It's the Cleartone Grindstein Evolved HM2 with an added distortion uh, circuit. So it's a death metal pedal in a box. You just need this and an interface and you can get some awesome recordings. Um, I link up to the videos. I made two of them actually, so you can check it out if you need it or not although it's quite pricey. Next one wasn't pricey at all. It, I got very cheap. I heard about that it was an uh, HM2 clone, so I purchased it. I haven't yet tried it. Video will come this year. Uh, Aria Ultra Metal. Curious how this sounds. It looks very much like the Arion, and I think they also used the same housing as the Arion Metal Master. Next one came from New Zealand from my boy Tony Pippas. I already have his uh, HM Too Many Clones as well as uh, the Bare Metal Fury, and I was always curious to check out the Satanist, his own distortion circuitry pedal, so I um, purchased it, as well as some custom HM2 for Christian from Nightbearer. The Satanist, however, so far I think it's great. Review already finished, might put it out on February, maybe January, don't know yet. The last pedal I got in a trade, I um, wanted to sell my Rev G3 and I traded it for this pedal, I think I made a I made a very good deal for this one, the Friedman BEOD Deluxe. I, or, uh, had the BEOD without the Deluxe and without the mid knob, and I sold it because of the missing mid knob. So naturally, I'm very interested how this sounds, if it's better or how much better it is. Review will take a while because look at the amount of knobs. It has two channels, lots of testing to do but it will come eventually. That's it for the pedals. But there's one more thing. I got myself a new amp, again. So I always knew that one of my favorite death metal bands used this amp exclusively in the studio, but I didn't know until very recently that another one of my favorite death metal bands used it as well. Speaking of death and in flames, the early in flames. The amp I'm talking about, you should have guessed now what I got. It's the Marshall Valve State VS100 8100. It's a hybrid amp with a tube preamp and a solid state power amp. Uh, so far, I just did a quick testing and it's very nasty. You can um, scoop the mids very drastically and I'm very excited how this will turn out, how, how I can include it in my studio, in my sound, maybe for Nightbearer, maybe for something else. Review is coming as well. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video and if you want to see more pickups, just let me know. I plan to do this monthly or bi-monthly, depends on the money I have left to spend on gear. Um, so don't expect this to be weekly. Anyways, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the 4th be with you and have a nice day.